hello student in previous lecture we have discussed about the relation between distribution ratio and distribution coefficient and factor affecting on it then solon extraction of metal lines so this technique that is solon extraction also will be useful to separate the metal lines so let us see solon extraction has one of its more most important application in the separation of metal cations in this technique metal cations or ions through the appropriate chemistry the distribution from aqueous phase into the water immiscible organic phase that means ions will be dissolved in the aqueous phase that will be separated or distributed into the organic layer and then we can able to separate out from that mixture solvent extraction of metal ion is useful for removing them from the interfering matrix or mixture for selecting or separating one or groups of metal from other metal ions the technique is widely used in spectrum of photometric analysis of metal ions since the reagent are accomplish the extraction often from the colored complex with the metal ions that means the reagent if you add they form the complex with the metal ion then we can able to determine the concentration um, by spectrophotometric analysis the separation can be accomplished in several way you have to note that the uncharged organic molecule tend to be tends to be dissolved in the organic layer that means general principle like dissolve like but the metal ions have charge so in order to neutralize them by using a simple chemistry that means the metal ion do not tends to dissolve appreciably in organic layer because it has charge and organic layer is completely non polar for them to the metal ion become soluble that means their charge on metal ion must be neutralized by adding something we called as organic reagents or organic compounds so metal ion can be neutralized to form the ion complex or chelate formation and then after neutralization of metal ion or form complex then it co can be distributed into organic layer so um, extraction of metal ion are possible by using two different principle or two different methods let us see first will be the extraction of metal ion is through the metal ion association complexes that means metal ion form the complex as ion association and then it will be neutral and then it can uh, distribute into the organic layer from the aqueous layer in one method the metal ion is incorporated into bulky molecules and then association taking place with the another ions of oppositely charged to form ion pair complex with metal ion metal ion association with the another ion of great size organic like molecules for example it is well known that iron third that means fe plus 3 can be quantitatively extracted by adding hydrochloric acid medium then it into the diethyl ether so simple mechanism is is the evidence exists that the chloro complex of the ions iron is coordinated with the oxygen atom of the solvent and form the ion association complex of iron with ether in presence of acidic solution that means it will form this is diethyl ether then h plus fecl4 that means it will form the complex with the ion association complex with hydrochloric acid and ether so this is the this iron will be neutralized by this ion association second example uranyl ion that is uranyl oxide is extracted from the aqueous nitrate solution into the isobutanol 
by simple ion association with two nitrate ion like this u into 2n then third example will be per manganese form an ion pair or ion association with tetraphenyl arsenium ion so this type of complex will be from ion association complex c6h54 as plus and mn so this will form the neutral ion association complex then which makes like organic and then it will be distributed and extracted into the dcm that is dimethyl chloride or methylene chloride so this is one of the method to extract the metal ion second method will be the by adding the chelating reagent into the metal ion and this metal ion form the complex with the chelate and we can say the chelate and this chelate is neutral compound so then it uh, it is easily distributed into organic layer and we can be then we can extract it from the organic layer the most of my the most widely used method of extracting metal ions is the formation of chelate molecule with the organic chelating reagent the chelating agent contain two or more complexing group we can say mono or bidentate or tridentate or polydentate they form the color complex with the metal ion and we can also able to determine by spectrophotometric method the chelate are often insoluble in water because it is in the neutral form so it is more like to the organic layer and it will be precipitated in aqueous they are how you are useful however usually soluble in organic layer because it will be form the neutral association uh, neutral complex then it will be dissolved into the organic layer such as uh, dcm that is methylene chloride or dimethyl uh, dichloromethene most of chelating agent are weak acid ionized in water the ionizable proton is displaced by the metal ion when the chelate is formed and then charge the charge on the organic compound is neutralized the charge on the metal ion will be neutralized example dithiazone which form the chelate with the lead so this is a representation of chelate formation this is dithiazone compound that is di phenyl thiocarbazone compound this one now it is actually it is in green color chelating reagent if you add the chelating reagent into the metal ion solution so it will form the chelate with the lead and this chelate complex is have having a red in color so that uh, green color changes to red then we can it is indication of the formation of metal chelate with the lead ion so this is about extraction of metal ion so this whole process of the chelate formation can be described the extraction process so here we'll stop the lecture next lecture we will see the actual extraction process and factor affecting on the extraction process thank you